Hi, <laughs> I'm Sherry, and welcome to Home Help in Heart. I know it's not a Sherry look, is it? But I did this look literally like, <laughs> like that simply because I had no makeup on and because I was paying homage to Betsy Johnson. Um, she recently, or earlier this year, I guess, did a collection with Torrid. And as soon as I heard, I went right to the website. And, um, oh God, stuff was so cute. If I was 30, I would own the entire collection. But I'm not 30, I'm 68. So I just got the sweatshirt. But, uh, yeah, she has, if you didn't notice, or if you don't know of Betsy Johnson, she has the black eyes and she has the red lip. And I can do the that with, on that side, but not on that side. Anyhow, I just did it for shits and googles. Okay, so we are going to resume our question answering from, uh, from the Q&A. And that was part one. This is part two. We're going to start with, I believe, what was the last question on my YouTube channel, which is from Mary Ellen After 60. Hi, my friend. Oh, God, looking at myself. I cannot believe I did this to myself. Anyway, okay. If you had to invite four Hollywood celebrities, dead or alive, to a small dinner party, who would they be? And... When I first read this question, I knew immediately one would be Oprah. And then I knew that Dame Judi Dench would be one. But the other two, I just, I couldn't quite figure out. I, so I decided to go ahead and throw in a little, you know, you got to have some something, something in there. So I threw in Channing Tatum, who, okay, he's hot. God, this makes me look white as a sheet. Anyhow, um, and then, so that's, uh, so Oprah, um, Lady Judy Dench, Channing Tatum, and I was going to say Sir Anthony Hopkins because for, you know, for a good many years, Dame Judy and Sir Anthony were my favorite actors, but Anthony hasn't done a whole lot, um, lately that I know of anyhow. Oh, gosh, I'm trying to think of somebody else real quick that's more current or whatever. Ah, if I had to add somebody else, I'm going to add um, Maya Angelou. Okay, so now we are going to, let me absolutely make sure. Yes, okay, I did those. So we're going to flip over to Instagram and do our Instagram questions. Okay, African Violets said so sorry you lost your missy do you think you might get another pet in the future um immediately when missy died people were at me going go go get a puppy go get a puppy and i said no absolutely not um i had absolutely no desire for another dog uh missy died on july 26 so I had absolutely no desire for another dog through the rest of the summer and into the fall. Now, yeah, a little, but uh, I think I've explained my knee situation. I have a knee surgery coming up on June 23rd, and I won't be able to walk a dog until a good six months after that, from now until surgery, and then from surgery till the end of the year. So it's not fair for me to have a dog right now. And I've actually thought sort of, kind of, about getting a cat because I wouldn't have to walk them. But if I can't train the cat to not get up on my dining table and on my kitchen counters, then I'm not going to be able to have a cat. I know some cats can be taught that because my neighbors was. But thank you so much, African Violets. I appreciate that. Um... Intentional Fun with Olivia asked, do you craft? And if so, what is your favorite craft? I used to be the crafting queen, like when I was poor <laughs> and before internet. 
everything I did that was fun was uh, was before internet, because now I'm just obsessed. Um, but anyhow, okay, so back in the day, I did a little rug hooking. I did a lot of macrame. I, uh, I tried knitting. Wasn't really for me, but I did make a little, like, skull cap thing. Uh, I tried crocheting. That definitely didn't work out well. I even did, like, a um, cross stitch, like a little picture that you go from the bottom and down through. I think that's what it's called. And that wasn't bad. Um, uh, God knows. And I made all kinds of crafty stuff. So I made, um, I was friends with a lot of drag queens in the 80s. So, um, so I got, got in this into my head that I was going to go buy a bunch of sunglasses. And then I was going to hot glue like flowers and gems and stuff onto them. They were really cool looking, I gotta say. Um, and I had really a lot of fun with that. I used to do, remember the legs eggs? If you're old enough, <clears throat> there were these white plastic eggs that you had pantyhose in. And I used to keep those and I would make ornaments, all kinds of stuff out of those. Am I crafty now? Not really. Um, if I could get away from the computer long enough, I think I probably would be. I have done crafts with Sissy, with Jasmine. Every year, pretty much, except for this year, we have done a Christmas craft. And so we we think of something that is easy enough to do, but still, you know, challenging. And I get all the materials, and we sit here, and we do it, and then we give them away as Christmas presents. So we've doing, done several different kinds of ornaments, fabric ornaments. Last year was candy cane, um, candy cane turned into, melted and turned into ornaments. Um, we did the little wood ornaments. We've done uh, pine cone ornaments. We've done a lot. But that's about it for crafting. Thanks for your question, Olivia. Susie Blankenship. Hello, my dear. She said, do you have a favorite lipstick? And is there one special palette you reach for? Darn, I threw this on so fast that I was right in the makeup and I forgot to bring it. Um, I don't. You know, there's a lot of women when I watch on YouTube and they're like, you know, I've had 20 of this color. <laughs> I wear this color every day or whatever. I have never been that person. Um, I like all different kinds of things. I like lip crayons and I like lipstick and I like lip pencils, um, all different kinds of media and liquid lipstick somewhat, although I've kind of gotten out of that. I don't wear much lip gloss anymore because I mean, obviously with these lip lines, but, um, so I don't really have a, um, a favorite lipstick. But as for red lipsticks, this is one of my favorites, and this is old, and it's Laura Geller, yeah, Laura Geller, and it's called Chili Red, C-H-I-L-E-R-E-D, and this came in a set of four right when I started doing my YouTube channels, maybe one of the first things I bought, like, online. And uh, it was on, like, a special, maybe a holiday thing or something, and it's... Two reds, a uh, berry, and a neutral. And I still use them to this day. All right. That, my dears, is the last question. And I could have smushed them all into part one, but I really hate when videos run on and on and on. And, you know, even as a watcher, I don't like to watch 20-minute videos. So anyhow, so now we have, I think, a 14 minute, by the time I added my ending on, a 14 minute video, and this is going to be around 10, 11. So that's better for me. Uh, that's, that's my preference, shall we say. Okay, so some things that I'm thinking about. Um, I was, okay, so I was I was going to do, oh my God, my brain went, eh, senior moment. Um, I, I was thinking about doing one about joint pain and some of the stuff that I have done and the products that I have used. Um, I was, a long time ago, uh, when I first switched over to Home Health Heart, 
I was thinking about doing one just about because I just happened to try a whole bunch of hand soaps this fall and winter. And so I was thinking about, you know, just doing mini reviews of those. Um, I do definitely want to do some Instant Pot. There was something else that I had in my brain. And of course, I have forgotten it. It was like more of a major deal. Anyway, please. And I meant to say this in my Q&A call for questions. And I'm not sure I did. But truly, if you ever have a suggestion of a product you'd like to see reviewed, uh, you have a question about something uh, that I could research and, you know, get back to you, or maybe something that I'm knowledgeable about, uh, there's something else you want to see on this channel, please feel free always um, to, you know, recommend something or say, you know, hey, have you used this? Uh, would you be interested in reviewing this? And I could tell you yes or no, you know, because if it's something that I will not use, then there's no point in me reviewing it really because I don't like to waste, you know, money or product. Um, and since Jean doesn't live anymore here anymore, I can't just pass stuff over uh, across the street. Um, but certainly, please, you know, please do suggest. All right. Take care. Be well. Yeah, I did that. Okay, and I'm gonna I'm gonna let Betsy in on this one. And always be yourself.